Dak and the Cowboys here on NFL Live. He's on the last year of his deal, and many have wondered how the Cowboys are going to handle this going forward. Remember, despite falling short of expectations in the playoffs, Dak was one of the best quarterbacks in the league last season. Here's Jerry Jones on the quarterback yesterday. Dak wants to do any and everything he can on and off the field to help us win. We are where we are. We have our contract. We're locked and loaded for this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we can see as we move along uh, how we are thinking, we inclusive of everybody here, us, Dak, uh, and we'll see what we do. I don't have anything to report today. Well, let's see if Graz has something to report. Our insider, Dan Graziano, joining us now. And Graz, explain to us the thinking here from the Cowboys. Oh, I thought you were asking me to translate Jerry Jones. No, the, what the Cowboys yes. are thinking is um, is not just about this year's salary cap number, which is 55.1, but next year's, which is already uh, a little over 40 million, and he's not even under contract for next year. So if they were to restructure, or even if they were to extend him now, that would only add to next year's salary cap number, and uh, they're very conscious of the idea that the cap's probably not going to go up by 30 million again like it did this year. So if they can do it, the Cowboys would love to keep Dak Prescott on this year's cap number and work around it. They know they can go into that contract and restructure some salary if they need to, but they'd rather not because they want to make sure that they don't inflate future cap numbers too much. This is the year with the big cap increase. Mm -hmm. Financially, as weird as this sounds, it makes more sense for the Cowboys to wait until next offseason to extend him than it does to do it this offseason. I think he did a pretty good job translating Jerry right there because it's really all in the money. Thank you. And as we mentioned, Dak Prescott led the NFL in touchdown passes last season, had a great year, becoming the first quarterback in Cowboys history to be the NFL's outright leader in touchdown passes in a season. He posted the second highest QBR in the NFL, trailing only Brock Purdy, and finished as the runner-up to Lamar Jackson for the MVP award. And Dan, what did you think of Jerry and the Cowboys' approach here with Dak? Oh, they, it's confusing because one of Two things happens if they don't get a restructure done I don't think they will because if they were going to it should have happened before free right. agency one of two things happens Dak is going to play well again this year he does basically every season if he plays in the regular season the way he does this past season it's either going to be a 65 million dollar contract because that's what it's going to demand or he's going to walk in free agency mm. he's not under contract so they're going to get absolutely nothing for him the Cowboys are expecting a Super Bowl. So if Dak plays really well and doesn't get a Super Bowl, they're going to be sitting there and either giving him a ton of cash or going to get nothing for him. And this roster has holes in it. And for everybody that wants to continue to tell me, guys, they got three picks in the top 174 picks of the NFL draft. They're down five starters. Hmm. So to think that this team is a Super Bowl caliber football team when they are a lesser team than the one that got molly by the Packers last year and their quarterback is in a play and win or, or, or go elsewhere contract, it, it's mind-boggling how much they fumbled this. Yeah, molly -wopped is a very underrated word, but <laughs> correctly used here in this case. When the Dak Prescott contract wasn't restructured or renewed, I think that told us all the things we needed to know about the way Jerry Jones sees his now starting quarterback. And so you go into this season with the lame duck coach, and the lame duck QB. That's a recipe for failure. Not to mention, you don't add any pieces around them. The team that got molly -whopped is still there, but now they're less of a team, and you're going to ask Dak, Dak Prescott to bring a lesser team further than he ever has any team in his career. It's just not fair to ask that, and it's not a way to fairly evaluate him going forward. So I agree, Dak Prescott will play the quarterback position well throughout the season. And if I'm Dak Prescott, I'm fully prepared to not only test free agency, but to play somewhere else next year. And I know we know Dan made jokes about being locked and low and said that this team wasn't loaded from a roster standpoint. Jerry Jones is simply talking about the fact that they are not doing anything with Dak Prescott's contract. Yeah. This is not what would happen to Josh Allen. This is not what would happen to Joe Burrow. This is not what would happen to Patrick Mahomes. Because all of those people, all of those teams, know they have their guy. They're clearly telling Dak that he ain't theirs. And for him, I hope that he explores free agency and finds a new logo to represent.
Yeah, I, I don't disagree with anything that you guys said. I, I would just ask us to go back to when Dak Prescott signed the deal he's on now. It was four years, $160 million, and we led Get Up, we led Sports Center, we led every show we had. Why aren't the Cowboys paying Dak? And eventually on Jerry's terms, Jerry paid Dak, and he gave him a pretty good, de pretty good deal right. at the time. And so I just think right now, Jerry is not sold on the point where he's ready to pay the quarterback $60 million right now, nor does he feel like yeah. being back to the corner, which is what we all say that the Cowboys were. I think in the end, though, if Dak Prescott goes and plays well, he may want to go to another team and he may have every right because they can't franchise it. But I still think if he plays well, his best offer and his best success is going to be had in Dallas. And Jerry has proven, based on the last contract, he, he will do this deal when he gets ready like he did the last time. Well, if Jerry Jones wasn't willing to pay him that money, then they should have traded him at the end of the season, even though he has the no trade clause, made it work, found a way to book. If he we has, said the same thing last book, time, though, didn't we, did, No, but he had the ability to be tagged last time. He doesn't yes, this time. he does not this time. And, Boog, if he's second or third in the MVP voting, he ain't. Buddy, his, the, the contract he is going to demand either there or somewhere else is going to be ridiculous. And if they don't have a NFC championship to go along with it, it's going to be a mess. Yeah, we all know that Jerry at times likes to negotiate or even do a little bit of messaging through the media, and you wonder if, I'm sure he's well aware, Dak Prescott has all the leverage here. Maybe that's a big piece of Good this. Good job by his